Hey guys, Romy here, so please like, comment, subscribe. This is If Loving You Is Wrong, season, well, either 3 or 5, Jesus, uh, episode 15. Episode's entitled, The Missing Person. Now, I do apologize, there was a power outage, so I didn't even get to watch the show originally when it came on. I had to wait until like 3 a.m. in the morning, so, you know, I had that recorded. It ep starts off with Randall. Randall versus Alex. Randall's bugging because he's trying to figure out, Alex said, oh, he's not the father. Brad is. Brad's on the birth certificate. So now the judge is going after him, like, why are you going to waste my time doing all this stuff when, uh, oh yeah, please like, comment, subscribe if I didn't already say so. My name's Romy. Why are you going there and doing all this stuff, wasting my time when you're not even the father? He said, now hold up. Alex is saying, yeah. Brad is uh, signed the birth certificate, and she, he was like, Brad's her husband, but he's white. The baby's mixed. Well, I had multiple lovers. I said, Alex, Alex, you do it too much. You're doing too much. The judge realized, you know what, there's something wrong with the mother, clearly, and the father, he has these outbursts. So, neither of you get your kid. Neither of you get the baby, and now they're both like, oh my gosh, Alex is like, wait, please, please, buddy. So it's like, I don't want to hear it. Randall looking at him like, look, you need to, the judge said, no, you need to get out of my court, I mean, get out of uh, my area, out of my space, out of my place before I put you in jail. Do you want that to happen? No. So the foster care system is going to go and take your child until someone seem, uh, deems you fit to go and take care of your kid. Now, Randall storms out, uh, Alex is out waiting for her cab because she took an Uber, and Randall's just going in. He's like, oh, so you going lying on me? She said, look, we don't know the truth is. At the end of the day, you know, I cheat on you. Could she uh, cheat with other people too? Uh, she, he said, no, that's not the case. See, you're so desperate. You're so thirsty. But you're not going to get your kid. Your parents, though, see, they're dead. Uh, don't you have something to do with that? It's amazing. You went you called them to go and come after me. And now they're dead. Your mother, she got shot between the eyes. Your father... Oh, I think he might have pissed himself or pooped himself when he went and got shot. It was great, Alex. It was great. I, I enjoyed all of it. And our baby was in danger because of you. So if you think that they're going to give you rights, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Well, she said, well, you're not any better. Well, I was the one that got hung. What are you talking about? Yeah, I wasn't the one that got hung. I got the proofs, Alex. I have actual proof your mother told me my mother is dead I said that's kind of savage but then when Randall wanted to check and see but does she actually care about her mom she still does of course and we're like they're trash even though you're saying that you <sighs> so then he gets slapped in the face because Alex is so hurt and upset and the thing is I'm looking at that Alex like Alex this is your fault this is actually your fault this is your fault it is. And we're not going to pretend like it's not. So if she gets this great idea of, why don't I go and give him, you know, hold this. Hold what? Hold my purse. And I'm thinking, Randall's a trap. Where are you doing? Come on, Rand Randall. Randall, you're arguing with her. You're black. She's white. She's a woman. You're a man. Come on. So he, she, he goes and takes the purse. Then she's like, help, 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 help. Police! Police! Somebody! Somebody! He took my purse! He took my purse! Randall said, this look... Of course you, having those racist parents of yours, would think to go up with, come up with this scam. I said, Alex, this is funny, but this is sad. And she stops as soon as her cab ride comes. It's like... Because he goes, throws the purse back at her, walks away, the cab comes, so she goes in. Side. Kelly... She's, you know, she's pacing around her house. Then she hears someone say, knock, knock, knock. Kelly, Kelly, open the door. And it's like, who is it? Diana. Who? who? Diana. Oh, 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 yeah, I, I'm so sorry. Uh, she opens the door. Then Diana was over it because she's trying to figure out, girl, why aren't you going to open the door? Oh, this is a nice house, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, did you take the money that my son gave you to go and, uh, what do you call it? to go from the scams what, what do you mean my son is in jail because of you I know so here's what you're gonna do you're gonna go and make sure that he has a place to stay when he comes out because he's about to come out he came out for mail order fraud for check fraud and for bank fraud you are gonna bank now don't you see how I said oh my god Kelly you really miss Diane which 
as you know, is the Black on Viv, aka Janet Hubert. Hubert, yeah. Yes. So you know she's not playing around. She was irking me. She was irking me, but in a good way. I said, dang, she's a good actress because she is irritated by life, so it just comes out when she has to play a role where she's irritated. Oh, you worried about justice? You made your son justice, but you didn't seek any justice for my son. My son, you keep talking about your son. You went, you worked hard to get this house for your son, but you didn't do anything for my son. You didn't even think about my son. My son's in jail because of you. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to go and make sure that my son is taken care of when he comes out because I can make things very difficult for you. Are you threatening me? Of course I'm threatening you. Why wouldn't I be threatening you? I looked at her like, yeah, she's threatening you, and yeah, you better believe her, because she's not playing around. Kelly would avoid all of this if she just told the man, look, I have this ex, he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, our son is in danger, I need your help. She really thinks that she can go and let someone else do time for her, and they'll just uh, get away with it. And she'll just get away with it. Like, nothing will happen. We're t Come on, Kelly. Come on, Kelly. So shout out to Miss Diane for coming around. She used to come around more often. It only took her, what, three minutes, two minutes to get Kelly? And I said, do it. Do it. And Kelly, you should have just been blabbing. You should have just been blabbing because now you could have had more people on your side, but everyone's looking at you sideways. Lucian, he's trying to figure out what his next move is. They still don't know where Andrew is. There's no trace of him, and it's just irking his spirit right now. Pete calls, and Pete's doing really well. Pete did a complete 180. He is so happy. He is so happy. He's like, oh, dude, I'm going to be getting out soon. They're putting me, the FBI's putting me in, you know, protective custody. Oh, the FBI, okay, we're good, because he's talking to Lucian. But, you know, it's irritating because I want to go out. I want to go out. I want to go and deal with Eddie. Well, no, I don't want to go and deal with Eddie, but I want to be out. I'm not afraid of Eddie. Eddie ain't nothing. I'm thinking, dang. The medication wore off, or did he get another hit? Because he is, well, actually, he's acting like the old Pete, so the medication must have wore off. He feels at least enough like himself to think that he can survive out there with Eddie lurking and nothing happened. Now, the thing is, uh, she's trying to figure out, what, you saw you're not in your house yet? No, I'm not in my house. What, what's going on, dude? What's going on, man? Andrew's not, well, Andrew, what's going on, Andrew? Lord Jesus. There's a mess out there. You need to go and figure it out. But she says, you know what? I'll take your advice. I'll stay in protective custody. I trust you, man. I trust you. I'll tell you where my new location is. You're not supposed to be doing that. What if I'm working for Eddie? Well, you're working for Eddie? No, of course I'm not working for Eddie. Oh, Pete. Pete, Pete, Pete. Uh, Lucius gets him off the phone because here comes Randall. Randall wants to go and file a report. Lucius says, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because uh, Randall talks about how all the things that Eddie did at the farm, Eddie was there, he was the one who hung me, I want to file a complaint, why don't you go and pers continue uh, with your complaint regarding Eddie and the police department a while ago? Well, you know, I stalled it because I needed to add a couple of things on. Oh, okay, cool. Have you seen this guy? Hold the pictures, a picture of Andrew. No, I haven't seen him, but then again... I was pretty much being tortured and beaten up, so it's kind of hard for me to see if there are other people. I was like, oh, okay, true enough. But why are you here again, man? Oh, uh, trying to go after my kid. Your kid? See, I heard about that, and you just need to leave Alex alone. You know, Natalie, she talks, and I overhear her, so I think I know what's going on, even though I don't. And, and that's why Randall was there to talk to Officer Rick, and not you. <laughs> that's, <laughs> they, the FBI referred Rick. I said, the FBI, is it because he's just one of the few honest men there, or is it, I know they wouldn't refer Lucius because that would tie them in together and they don't want to do that, but I said, Rick, interesting, what if he's undercover too and we just don't know it yet, um, but Lucian, and this is the one few times that Lucian irritated me, Lucian was trying to tell Randall, oh, at the end of the day, you need to go and drop it. What you're doing to Alex, what you're doing to Alex, it's not right, it's not right. Part of it isn't right, but Alex shares the other half. And what she's been doing is a whole lot worse than what Randall's been doing, believe it or not. Originally, we didn't think that that was going to be the case, but it is. It turned out to be the case, and so, I'm, huh, how do I want to phrase this? Randall's still trash, but so is Alex. 
So, I'm not going to go and put this all on Randall. Lucian's trying to talk to Rick and let Rick know, you know, you have to take everything he says with a grain of salt because that man, oh, he's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So it's like, oh, we're, okay, thanks, dude. Yeah, but aside from that, uh, so what's going on with my house? Did they, did you guys scrub the house down? Oh, yeah, we know, you know we don't clean up messes. We just start them. Oh, oh, oh okay. I'll give you the number to this cleanup crew. Oh, okay, hey, thanks. Uh, I'm trying to think, how is he going to get that house clean in time? Because they need to go and get, that cleanup crew must be the same one that Black China used to move out of her house. Because that house was spotless when we saw it on social media. I said, now hold up, I, this is a stunt or I need to hire whoever she hires the next time we move. Esperanza and Eddie are trying to have a conversation, which is the weirdest thing to me. Eddie's so thrown off right now. Esperanza is irritated because Eddie constantly has whores in her house. I'm thinking, Eddie probably owns the house. That's that's probably why he can have whores in his house. That's the truth. His house for his daughter, not really for you, but for his daughter. Oh, it's interesting that Eddie was trying to go and act like, oh, well, are you doing your job? You're supposed to be taking care of business. She's like, excuse me. I had to go down to CVS to make sure I have all the penicillin. I'm thinking, why would you need to do that unless you two are smashing every once in a while? Apparently, Esperanza didn't know that Alex... Of course she didn't, because why would Alex tell her that Alex called Rusty and the parents and, you know, set up Randall, and so she's flustered. She's flustered and, flustered and she's confused. What confuses Eddie and what actually shakes him, because there's so many eyes on him right now, is the fact that Looky, looky, look who's there. He sees on the TV that there's a FBI, um, an FBI-driven man search for Andrew. And so Eddie is shook because Eddie knows that at the end of the day, he, <laughs> he is screwed. He is screwed. It's all coming back to him. He doesn't know what he's going to do to block this. Lucian goes, he runs to the house, he gets the, you know, clean crew to go and clean up while he's there. They're almost done. They work really fast. The issue is that he sees Brad, so he talks to Brad. And he gives Brad this, like, neighbor pep talk. Oh, Brad, I'm actually going to be moving in next door. Okay, great. Cool. Good for you. So, you know, you're a good man. With the situation that's going on between you and your wife, you still want you save that baby. A really honorable man. Definitely, because everyone wouldn't have done that, even if they know how to swim, even if they were just generally brave enough. So, there's that, and he tells him, uh, Brad, what we already know. Brad, you're not over your wife. You're not over your wife. Your wife isn't there right now, because he thought, okay, maybe she's there. That's why he didn't want to go in. But, he says, you're not over her. You still love her. You still care about her. Why would you be here in the middle of the day, during a work day, when the kids are at school, and that, that's just that. You know, you need to figure it out. Maybe you need to give her another chance. I, I'm looking at him like, oh my gosh, this is what happens when you have the protective man that just hears this negative stuff about mainly the men and um, wants to protect people in general, but especially the women who look like they're being taken advantage of. I respect it, but it's like you don't have all the answers. You don't know all the facts. So just back off a little bit. Even though, even if you're speaking facts in that moment, Lucius, Lucian, uh, it's, you just back off a little bit. Now he sees that the moving truck comes in at the same time, so he's trying to stop them from going inside because the cleaning crew is not fully done. He's like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now he's there, Joey's uh, awake, the swelling finally went down for the most part. I said, they did a good job with the swelling. Thank God someone actually did the research to say, okay, during this time period, this is when the swelling go down. During that time period, this is when the swelling will go down. Kelly comes and she brings flowers. Joey's like, wait, I'm not dead yet. Why are you bringing me flowers? I'm like, come on, silly. This is just get well flowers. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, the two of them want to talk about something. And Natalie no instantly notices that something's wrong with uh, with Kelly. So she wants to go speak to her. Joey's just like, can y'all take it outside? I need to get me some sleep. I, I need to get my, what was it? Not get well sleep. What did he say? His rest in peace sleep. I said, Lord Jesus, Joey. <laughs> of course you would say something like that. So, Kelly tells Natalie that, girl, Ramsey's dead? Where'd he die? Oh, uh, don't worry about that right now. Do you have any leads? No, but they're doing a formal investigation because they don't know what happened. They just know that it's really serious. 
he was just dead. It's like, oh, I know, I'm sorry, I know you really liked him. Yeah, really did. But what's going on with you, Joe? Well, he's going. To, I guess he's going to be fine. Well, he'll get released soon enough. But no, I know there's something else wrong with you. What's going on? What's going on, girl? Well, mm, la, la. just tell me. I'm not stupid. What's going on? All right, all right, all right. Tra you, you remember Travis, right? Yeah, Travis. He's going and he's stalking me. What do you mean he's stalking you? He, yeah, cause no, cause he asked, have you ever been in an abusive relationship? He said, a, a what? What is that? Who? Who? Who's abusing you, girl? N no, it's not. Who? What? Tell me. It's Travis. What? Little tr church boy Travis? Yeah, he's crazy. He's been stalking me. He's been threatening me and my son. So what have you done about it? Well, you know, I went to go and try to get a restraining order, but I had to get the meeting rescheduled. You... What girl? Look. You need to go and get you a gun. That's what you need to do. I said, what? A gun? What do you know about having a gun? Look, I don't have the gun, but Lucian has a gun, and he puts it in the gun safe. So, you know I have access to that. You need to go and get you a gun to protect you and yours, because this whole thing of, oh, I don't want to have a gun, I want to protect myself. You crazy? Well, I don't want to have that on my person. I don't want to have that in my house. I have my son. Uh, your son's in danger because this man is stalking you. What is wrong? So, aside from you getting the gun, because I know I have this friend. She works at the NRA. And, uh, so she'll go, she does all the gun shows. She'll go and get you a gun. She'll go and get you a quick little permit. Get you that gun. And you'll be good. It's like, oh, well, I'm going to do this for you because you need to do something. Well, I'll go into the, um, law office. That's cute, but let's be real. I'm going to get you that gun. I'm thinking, wow, thank you for finally telling someone. Now, the thing is, I wonder how long it's going to take before that information gets back to Lucian. Um, well, because Lucian already knows to a certain degree, but the fa when Kelly said that Ramsey is dead, I almost, I was like, what, you're gonna, I feel like she almost actually slipped and then called herself and was just like, oh, oh yeah, 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 don't worry about where it is, I'm like, Kelly, Alex is at home, uh, she's bugging out, she hasn't been answering her calls, Esperanza's like, yo, I tried to call you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that you were coming. Yeah, well, I tried to call you. You didn't pick up. So you have a lot of missed calls. What's going on? Oh, it's not, it's not much. Oh, okay. So here's how this works. I know that you called your parents, Alex. What do you mean? I know that you called your parents. Well, well where's the baby, Alex? The the baby is still in Wells. Oh, so where's the Upstairs? No. Where is the baby? Where is your baby? Ronza irked me this entire scene. Even if she was partially right, she still irked me. And... This is where we find out that, okay, the baby's still in protective custody. What happened? Randall's trying to come after me for, um, you know, full custody. It's like, oh, what? That's crazy. Yeah, he's such a monster, still terrible. Well, Alex, you did call the parents on him. Look, Alex, whether you wanted them to kill him or wanted them to take him away, you called the parents. What are you talking about? Why are you saying that stuff about me? Alex, I'm not stupid. I actually did my research. I looked. Here's pictures of you when you were going through Easy Pass. Here's pictures of you when you were running red lights. Here's your phone calls to and uh, your parents to and from your parents. And we know you were there. We know that you went to go see your parents. And the timing of it is really eerie. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Duh, to help you. Because I'm the only person that's going to help you right now. They're going to go in there and do an investigation. Because this is a legal problem, legal issue. You know, multiple people's lives are in danger, including an infant. So, they're going to take this extremely seriously. They're going to go and question you. Here's what you need to do since you're trying to act so dumb and trying to act like you weren't involved with it. Because you were. You're going to say, yes, you did go see your parents. Make up some excuse. I don't care what excuse it is. Make up some excuse so that at the end of the day, you can have a solid alibi. And make sure you stick to the script. I don't care about all this whining. I don't care about all this hoo ha ha. If you ever want to see your child again, if you don't want to go to jail and lose your kids, which you can do because of what you did, then I'm going to go and uh, then you need to go and do this. Because mind you, Alex still wasn't believing her. Esmeralda took out that paperwork and then Alex is like, oh, okay, so you know you know. Yes, I know I know. I'm not stupid. I'm not stuck on stupid. There are a lot of commercials tonight. I said, now wait a minute. This is going. But. Shout out to Esperanza, even though she irked me the whole time she was doing it, she was still helping out Alex, but it's crazy, Alex is really trying to pin it on Randall, 
even though it, it was only partially his fault. You still slept with him, you still laid down with him, uh, you need to go and also lawyer up, like really lawyer up, scrounge some money together, lawyer up. So Alex is like, okay, thank you, I know you're just trying to help me out. Yeah, absolutely, because there's missing cops that you need to be aware of. Um, did you hear of a shootout when you were there? No, I'm not sure. Oh my god, because Ra Randall even told Lucian that Alex pulled a gun on him. Oh! Oh, it's, this is going to be good. But Kelly, you know, she hears back from the lawyer's office. And I almost feel like the lawyers are in cahoots with Travis because I don't get why they keep canceling on her, why they keep rescheduling. I said, Kelly, they're not the only lawyer office. What are you doing? You need to hire someone else then. There are multiple lawyers. All those people in your area, there are multiple lawyers. Stop it. So she gets off the phone with them because they're saying, oh, call back tomorrow. Maybe we can reschedule something tomorrow. Maybe during lunch. Well, normally it's after four. It's like, no, I need to do it during my lunch break. Well, you know, they're giving her these a million and one excuses. And that's why I figured, uh-uh, Kelly, something's not right. Are they in cahoots with Travis? Because at this point, I wouldn't put past anyone. Kelly's, I don't know, assistant or just co-worker, uh, you know, told Kelly, yeah, you got a phone call. You realize that, right? Um, yeah. Uh, it was Justin's. What, yeah, what happened? Well, he called you. Why didn't you go and tell me? I did, but you were on the phone. You were really distracted. You were being Kelly. Okay, I'm going to have to run out. Justin goes and calls her. She's about to run out of her building. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I missed the soccer game. Don't worry. It was canceled. Why? Because the other team's bus broke down. Broke bees. <laughs> that's not what you said, but that's what I was thinking when you said it. Don't worry. Um... I'm being picked up by who? If everyone left, if some snow's mom left, who picked you up? Travis! Kelly! I, like, oh. I said, Kelly, come on now. Come on now. Oh. <sighs> That's it. Please like, comment, subscribe.